Welcome to the Doctor's Advice, your go-to podcast for strategic cybersecurity leadership. I'm your host, Dr. B, and today we're tackling a challenge that keeps every CISO up at night, how to make smart, impactful cybersecurity investments. In a world of cybersecurity, we're always walking a tight rope. We need to protect our organizations from evolving threats, but we also need to be mindful of budgets. It's a constant balancing act. So how do we make sure every dollar we spend on cybersecurity counts? Well, that's where the cybersecurity matrix comes in. This framework developed by Sunil Yu is like strategic compass for CISO. It helps us identify gaps in our defenses, prioritize our spending, and build a cybersecurity strategy that's both comprehensive and cost-effective. Let's break it down here for, for a second. The cyber defense matrix is a 5x5 grid that maps security functions to the assets they protect. Think like a chessboard, where each piece has a specific role and position. The five security functions are identify, protect, attack, respond, and recover. These are the NIST cybersecurity framework functions. These are core activities that make up our cybersecurity strategy. And the five asset classes are devices, networks, data, applications, and users. These are the things that we're trying to protect. By looking at the intersection of these functions and assets, we can get a clear picture of our security posture we can see where we're strong, where we're weak, and where we need to invest. For example, let's say you identify a gap in the protect function for your critical data assets. This is a red flag. It means you need to invest in stronger safeguards to prevent a data breach, which could have devastating consequences. On the other hand, if you identify a gap in a detect function for a less critical asset, it might not be as urgent. You can prioritize other investments that will have a bigger impact on your overall security. The cyber defense matrix help us make these kind of risk-based decisions. It's not about spending the most money. It's about spending money wisely. So how do you actually use the matrix? Well, it starts with a thorough assessment of your current security posture. You need to understand your assets, your risks, and your vulnerabilities. Once you have that understanding, you can start mapping your security controls to the matrix. This will help you identify any gaps and prioritize your investments. But it doesn't stop there. The cybersecurity defense matrix or your cyber defense matrix is not a one and done exercise. It is a living document and you should be revi reviewing and revising and updating this on a regular basis. As your organization evolves, so do your risks. New threats emerge and new vulnerabilities are discovered. You need to stay on top of these changes and adjust your security strategy accordingly. The cyber defense metric is a powerful tool that can help CISOs navigate the complex world of cybersecurity risk management. By using the matrix to identify gaps, prioritize investments, and build a comprehensive security strategy, you can protect your organization's value, valuable assets and ensure its resilience. So, if you're a CISO looking to make a smarter cybersecurity investments, I highly recommend giving a cyber defense matrix a try is a strategic compass that can help you navigate the ever-changing threat landscape and make the most of your security budget. Thanks for listening to the Doctor's Advice, the Cybersecurity Risk Podcast. Subscribe for more expert advice on cybersecurity risk strategies and best practices. Remember, in the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is power and action is your strongest defense.